Hey everyone, I'm uh, continuing on my black and white portrait of Curly from the Three Stooges. I have it on Facebook Live and I um, can send you there to my page, Bill Snegan, if you want to see the start of this. I'll be doing more, you know, with the black and whites and the India ink on the uh, Facebook. They just now awarded me the opportunity to do live videos now that they went over a thousand subscribers. I guess, I guess that's, you know, why they gave me a new kind of access to the live camera. Anyway, uh, this is the dark mixture. The three inks are uh, diluted. They are uh, actually sold by uh, Timothy John Luke Smith. Check him out on his uh, YouTube page. That's Timothy John Luke Smith. The ink is called the Ink Dilution Set, and he sells it, you know, to everyone. He has a light, medium, and dark mixture, and that's what I'm working with here, and I'm working on Bristol board, okay? So, you, if you want to see the first part, go ahead to my page and uh, peek at it, because it's on there from Facebook Live Demo. I have the medium mixture in here right now. Uh, I know this is far away, this, uh, this picture here, but we're, we're going after the hair. And it's very dark um, along the edge. So I'm just going to take the medium value. I want to spray with a very light uh, air pressure because the inks are different than the paints, you know. So by darkening the very edge, by the way, this is transfer tape protecting the background just to get to allow me to have a sharper edge that I prepared beforehand. All right, so basically I'm spraying mostly on the paper, transfer paper, and I'm bringing out a little bit of the darkness as it comes out from this crew cut that Curly has. <laughs> it's very dark on the edges, but I'm working with the, uh, the light, the medium ink right now, just to establish it and get it to the value, the lightness or darkness of this color. Put a little air on that and dry that. If you stay too long in one spot with this, uh, you will get uh, a flooding, kind of like puddling. So you want to kind of, you know, take your time, have low air pressure. You can mist over this a little bit here. This is a nice little, almost widow's peak. I use the pump stroke here, get in close, make a little texture. Then, as far as working with, uh, you know, trying to get some, this is an electric eraser by Helix, and got a little black thing on there. Whatever that is, it's stuck on there. Okay. So I can go in here, let me zoom in. And I could start pulling out some of the little textures that are in the real short hair in the front. You also want to think about, and then you can airbrush over it. You also want to think about just the regular eraser, you know, the uh, the handheld eraser. So let me get out my. I got the Tombow you can use, which is right here. You can go in there and start lightening areas that are showing in the uh, reference picture. Just to get that kind of seeing through to the skin, you know, because his hair is so thin and broken up at the uh, front part by the forehead. Okay, so you just want to work that. And we probably have a little camera shake going on. So let me hold the camera. Sorry. I'm going to zero out a little bit. Zoom out. So I'm just kind of pressing and going for little circles, creating texture. That would be right in here. If you have to use a more aggressive eraser, then go ahead and get your the aggressive eraser and get in there and try to make your little marks by making circular motions and 
cluster them together, you can almost get like a skin texture, you know, that you can see right here. It takes time, but let's peek at the actual, what the uh, stencil's doing for us. Sorry about my hands. Let's hopefully, yep, that's good. A little white mark there. Oh, that must have been my X-Acto knife coming in and getting it, you know, with the point. Okay, so I'll work on this side. It's more accurate. I got to clean up my stencil a little bit here, meaning it's cut, it's cut a little bit because um, you couldn't see through it. It's a little wavy. So I'm just trying to show you a sample and also lead you to the other uh, the Facebook page. Just I know you YouTube subscribers, you know, uh, but no, you don't have to friend me or anything. You just can come on my my uh, YouTube page for just to see the video. You can share it to your own wall and watch it at your own leisure. Um, but I will be do you know I I will be doing more videos obviously as we go for the YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to take the, the dark ink. I'm going to try to use a little bit more of this ink before I, th I don't want to throw it away. Sorry. <laughs> Zoom. Okay, so we can go on to his jacket here just to empty the gun a little. You know, get rid of uh, the stages of this, uh, this ink is, you know, you want to go with the lightest mixture to this darkest so like I said uh, you want to try to um, get your values all in getting close for the the neck right here is a neck muscle or as we get older we get that you know line of this is a um, the shirt and the jacket so got a little bit of a puddle there but I uh, put a little more tint over some of the highlights they're still there but I want to give him more skin tone and the only way you can get it is by doing with the stages of light to medium to dark okay these are highlights so I'll go around them and these erased marks will show up more as I put some tone very carefully onto the image. Getting a little closer there. Okay. So we're getting some just some tone to lightly. It's better to go real slow. You know, and then build it up. Nose pops out a little more. And let's see, we got a little dimple here of sorts. Not even a dimple, it's, I don't know what it is. It's a little, it's like a dimple, but it's right over there. It's right there. And there's this mark here. And if you spray light enough, you've got the option of going back in and developing, you know, shapes with the eraser. Knock some of that highlight back. So the skin becomes kind of one as far as the lightest areas. Spray over that highlight a little bit right here. Just a little bit. Just to kind of quiet it down a little. And it connects it, you know. But let's go to the black mixture real quick and try to work. First, I'm going to bring this me medium mixture out. Right in this area. Comes out pretty far. A little bit of texture. Pump strokes. Right. And get pretty dark. I'm, I still see in the reference picture that he's definitely got a black going on there. But you know what? This is getting pretty dark. So maybe that's all I need. I'm going to look. Black obviously is, is black. You know, it's going to be real dark. Yeah, it's, that's working out pretty good here. Um, looking at the reference picture it's blacker. So 
I'm going to put a little black in the gun before we end the video, and I'm going to show you the dark mixture just to push it a little further towards the photograph's value that's showing me. Got to empty the gun, clean up with this is real easy. You just got to basically use water um, compared to the paint. And I still would be working obviously with the Createx paints and what have you. Um, just purchased these about a week ago. And so maybe two weeks. Painted a lot of paintings since then. So I'm practicing my airbrush skills um, a lot. Ooh, there goes my black. Okay. Well, time to order some more black. Okay. My mess on the floor is not your problem. <laughs> what a drag. That was my new my newer bottle too. Lost a lot of ink there. Okay. Was that the, uh, hmm, yeah, that was the dark mixture, because the label's gone now, all right, you know, it's covered with the ink, okay, so this is really dark. I do have my Createx black that I can get involved with for the darker areas, so until I order more, because I think I lost most of the bottle there. Drag, it's a big drag, but it happened, so it's kind of like the live video <laughs> I spilled on my Bruce Lee portrait, and uh, but I fixed it, so you can see that too on my Facebook Live. I fixed it, I really, damn, yeah, this is Bristol board. So you can see here, that it's really starting to make it pop. I have a few shapes to work out of that I cut a little bit in here. No big deal though, I can just kind of round that off with a shield or whatever, because it's pitch black there. And so there's that, let's pull this down out of the way. Okay, and yeah, there is a dent there. There is a little going in, so that fell perfectly in place. There, There's not a dent there, so I could always use a shield or whatever. But you can see as you go with the black, as you pump stroke it in here, no shield on now. Using the pump strokes, create texture. But you can see the hairs. Okay, so let's zoom in on it. Okay, you can see right in this area it's going to get lighter and lighter. And that's where that erasing comes in. All right, so that's a sample of the inks working with the different values. I've got a strength in shadows. Uh, his nostrils are pretty dark, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to just darken that a little bit. not something you're going to see so readily. I think I'll work on that off camera because I'm stretching around the camera to, to reach it. And at this stage, you know, the fact that I lost my ink down on the floor is enough. I don't, uh, don't need any more disasters to happen. But um, I know the eyebrows are going to get darker, so we can put a little more color right, value rather, not color, right where the eyebrow is, just to show how light and easy this goes on. I'm just gonna go in real light over what's already there. Light spraying, I should say. There we go. So you can see the more I tune it up, the more I get the, uh, the values to pop this thing out. All right, so um, I want to show you a picture. few pictures that I've done in the past week. 
Okay, so this was my cat. This is just on paper, guys. Okay, so this was a painting of my cat that we lost in, nine, in 2016, but it's just a black and white picture I had taken. So that was probably my first attempt, around my first attempt. I've done Salvador Dali. You know, you can see some texture in there and stuff. Again, just trying to learn how to paint on the Bristol board. And then I did this one for my son, Bruce Lee, last night. I finished it up, or no, a couple nights ago, working on Curly last night. Anyway, this is a gift for my son. I don't sell portraits, I sell paint por pet portraits. Paint portraits I sell. <laughs> uh, I enjoy painting the animals uh, a lot. Okay, so um, one more thing I did do. Oh yeah, my first painting's on the wall over there. I'm just gonna leave it there, but this was on clayboard. Now, uh, it's much more tougher. You can erase, you can use uh, Q-tips and uh, Windex and take out an area if you need to. But anyway, just I just wanted to show you the three inks. Uh, you know, this again, they come in a bottle like this, and it's Timothy. Uh, let's see, I'll give you the right information here for his website. Yeah, Timothy John Luke Smith. Uh, he paints fantastic portraits on uh, toned paper. So you can uh, check out his website, you'll enjoy that. He's on YouTube, uh, and he sells this product too. All right. He also will use pastels, like for highlights and stuff, because the white paint, when he does use Createx white, he uses it in the early stages, because if you spray it on top of a dark paint, you're gonna have a blue shift. But if you paint on the toned paper some highlights first, you'd have to see his video to see what I'm talking about. You will uh, be able to bring your grays on top of it without any shifting. Then in the end, he'll use, I, in this case, I have a Rembrandt pastel in a chalk form and I use the uh, blending stump and I can go in and I can soften and highlight an area brighten up an area that's already waiting you, we're not at the stage right now where that like the teeth the teeth could be erased a little or they could be punched out with a little a little highlighting uh, from the pastel which will not cause any color shift okay so that's a, a whole nother thing but okay, so just a short video just to introduce this uh, three sets, three sets, three bottles of ink in the set. Um, they are, like I said, pre-mixed, uh, or should I say, <clears throat> they're diluted. There's a, they're called ink dilution set, okay? So the first uh, value you wanna use for sketching, kind of like just finding your basic shapes. That's your uh, light value. And then your medium, you want to start bringing it in more tighter. And tighter. So your safety net is you're going from one gray to another gray to the final black. And in between there, how you spray light and dark. So um, anyway, I'll show uh, hopefully the finished picture. Um, I'm not going to do any more videos on this one as far as YouTube. But um, if I do decide to do another Facebook Live, I will, you know, uh, maybe do that but in the meantime my next portrait's going to be uh, I think it's going to be Jay North Dennis the Menace for black and white but then I have a pet portrait I'm going to be working on which is a commission job in color and uh, I just have to see if the uh, client or, or customer will allow it to go up because it is a gift otherwise I can't show it till it's done or do step by steps so I, I have to talk to her tonight anyway I hope you're all doing well and there's Curly, uh, all his wonderful sound effects and antics on the Three Stooges. So um, take care, everybody, everyone, and thanks for looking. God bless and be well.